Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance, I cannot say their name, but you see the alliance we're going up against. Now, I have already scouted my path out, and let me tell you guys, this was not my finest hour. This war, uh, I did not perform all that well. Uh, but I should have known how things were going to go. When I saw who I was going to face as my first fight. And it's going to be Void. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I run full suicide. So that means that I have two debuffs on me unless my champion is immune to either poison or bleed. Okay? Or both. So I'm going in here and fighting with Nick Fury. Nick Fury is not suicide friendly. So he's going to have a bleed and a poison debuff on him. And Void, you don't want to fight Void with suicides on. It's suicide. But I kept them on. All right? There's no finesse in this fight. I want you to watch um, Nick Fury's health. Look at how fast it's going down. I'm not trying to do anything other than be completely aggressive. And I wanted to try and get him down before I lost the one life, you know, the uh, life model decoy, but that didn't happen. We we did it very quickly, but just that fast, now the re real Nick Fury is out and I've lost my buffer uh, that I enjoy when I'm fighting with Nick Fury. Uh, I might have been able to do it, but you'll notice that the opponent, Void, fired his special off. And of course, that takes more uh, time off of the clock. Um, but we got him down. We didn't have to turn our suicides off. Now, you may wonder why I didn't want to turn my suicides off. Uh, and I would recommend people turn the suicides off if they are running with suicides. Uh, but I already turned my suicides off to place my defenders. Cyber Weekend is coming soon. And I'm trying not to spend units. All right. So I'm already having to spend units every time to place defense. Now, we're on a winning streak right now. We've won the first four wars of the season, and we're trying to win this one here. So I was pretty sure I could take down that void before Nick Fury died. Uh, the global node is, you know, the defense tactic, stubborn, and Nick Fury is a stubborn attacker as well as a defender. It means he has the defensive tag, and so he benefits from the attack tactic uh, when you're fighting um, and he also um, gets the you know defensive tactic when he's defending uh, he is my MVP for dealing with stubborn which seems to be the only thing people want to choose these days all right so the second uh, fight went down without a hitch Mysterio can be annoying you don't want to attack him after he fires his special one off you want to parry him um and just basically stay away from him don't do any damage to him wait for it to wear off and then take him out uh when he first came to the contest he was very annoying all right so uh when i got back and this uh mini was cleared uh we went ahead now here is where i did not do well so I didn't fight that first mini, and I, I could have, but I didn't because um, whoever cleared it last just went ahead and cleared it. So we got here, and we're not yet on my path in Section 2. So I'm like, well, this is Man-Thing, and I have uh, champions that are poison immune. I've got Omega Red, I've got Warlock, so we should be able to deal with him pretty well. But I was not familiar with this node, and I don't believe I've ever fought him on this node. All right. Something else you may not have noticed, but we went up a tier. We are fighting more difficult wars now. The nodes are uh, changing, and our defenders are changing as well. All right. Now, what I should have done was to just wait or discuss it with my alliance and say, okay, look. You know, I'm fight. Want to fight this man thing? Uh, does someone have a better counter? Um, are there anything I need to know? You know that sort of thing. But I didn't because I know I can beat man thing. But that node, 
I just wasn't familiar with it. And you can see I'm taking it seriously. I'm going in, uh, boost it up, and, you know, it, it, it didn't turn out the way I had thought it would. Let's just say that. All right, so let's watch and see uh, how I did. So Omega Red, full health, haven't used him yet. All right, and so I'm like, okay, I got, I got my plan. I'll go in, try to get those spores on him as much as possible. You know, I'm looking up at the health bar, and I'm like, okay, he's losing his health pretty nicely if we keep on ramping that up. Fire that heavy off, and just look at that. We're, we're doing good. Look at his health. His health is going down. I'm like, if I can just keep those spores on him, all right? I blocked that because I wasn't trying to get hit with his uh, arm, okay? Um, fire this off to get my uh, death field active again. And then it just would not dash back for nothing. And then he got a special three. I'm sitting here looking at all of this. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, are you serious right now? how quickly that fight went south. We started off beautifully. I'm like, okay, the health is going down. We're doing great. You know, we're fighting him the way I know how to fight him. Everything is looking good. And then after my special attack, I try to dash back. It doesn't dash back. He just stands there and gets wrecked. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I should be able to recover. No time. He went to a special three. And that's the fight over. And so now I'm a little bit upset. I lost my Omega Red. I was going to use him uh, in Section 2. Okay. Now, I've been doing a lot of rank ups. If you guys remember, um, that same Omega Red, I took him straight to um, rank 5 when I got him. Maxed out his SIG and everything. And so I'm thinking here, what resources do I have? Because... I wanted to heal up a little bit uh, as well. Now, we've got galore. We've got a large amount of um, attack bonus because of a change Kabam made. They are now very easy to obtain. So those 15 percenters are always maxed out. All right. So I went in here and I'm thinking I should be able to take him out uh, pretty quickly, you know, just to finish off you know, his uh, health there. So just look at this. Okay, block that. All right, now we've got him infected and his health is going down pretty nicely. You know, we got a little bit of the power gain, um, go, um, power control going there. All right, we baited out the special two. You know, we're doing fine. And then we drop over dead. And I'm just like, okay, that's gonna do it for me. I call. I told my uh, alliance, I said, okay, guys, I'm sorry. I just died twice on this man thing. I'm done. I'm not going in with Nick Fury, who, remember, uh, the real Nick Fury is out thanks to the void that I fought. So I'm real salty about this. You know, I just messed up. And now I'm worried about being able to clear my path without having to resort to a revive. I have not had to revive to clear my path in literally years, okay? And so I'm just like, oh my goodness. But the real Nick Fury is out. So I'm figuring if I do, you know, these fights and I'm just really aggressive, I should be able to take these guys down with Nick Fury uh, without too much difficulty, okay? So of course, uh, time has passed and the uh, buffs that I had on before, are gone, uh, but I am not taking this lightly, especially since the real Nick Fury is out, okay? I remember when Medusa used to be a uh, prime defender. People would put her as the boss, even. okay? But nowadays, yeah, not so good. Uh, we take her down pretty easily, okay? No problems, Nick Fury is a beast. All right, so we got her down, and I'm like, okay, whew. Now let's see if we can take down this Sorcerer Supreme. Now, one of the things that I like when I'm fighting against Sorcerer Supreme, also Doctor Strange, is that they don't gain power the way other uh, 
champions gain power, which means I can go hard. Now you see the node uh, <coughs> once bitten, twice shy, or something like that, level three. That means that as soon as I get a bar of power, I cannot fire a special off, which works out great because I'm not trying to fire any specials off right now. Uh, so Nick Fury, I'm gonna do similar to what I was doing with Boy. Go in hard. I have deep wounds maxed out just for Nick Fury. But I have to play this carefully. Boom. And she's down. Okay. Uh, that ended my participation in this war. Um, I was mad with myself over my performance, hoping that it did not uh, cost us the war. But we'll be back in a minute and you guys will find out. And we're back, and as you can see, we actually won this war, my poor performance notwithstanding. Now, look at the score. We won this war by 360 points. That is a very close war. So shout out to you guys. You put up a very good fight. This could easily have been a loss, but we won, and now we are... 5-0 and oh for the season. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, you can see we're in a Tier 2 now. So thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.